Hi there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about 8 habits that could be ruining your TV. TVs are devices that need special care to remain intact and in full working order. For this, it is important to review some harmful habits that at first seem common, but maybe ruin your television. Some of them are cleaning the screen with chemicals or leaving it near a place where it gets a lot of sunlight. These and other routine practices can cause defects in the electronic and even decrease its useful life, making it necessary to spend money to repair it or even buy a new one. That is why it is important to know what are the fundamental precautions to avoid this type of problem. In the lines below, Tech Guidance lists 8 habits that can ruin your TV and you don't know. Although many people like to leave the TV near the window, it is important to check whether the point where the device is positioned gets sun or not. This is because when the electronics are subjected to higher temperatures, they can overheat and burn some parts. The television needs to be located in a ventilated environment that is not exposed to the sun's rays. In this way, besides not having interference in the picture quality while you watch movies and series, the chances of developing some defect due to excess heat are smaller. It is worth pointing out that the device also cannot be located in places that are too cold, always seek a balance. Cable free TVs are a novelty in the market, although many users still have or prefer models with wires. For those who use the conventional versions, it is important to be careful when handling the cables. Forcing them too hard can break any internal connections, as can bending or tangling them. You should not tangle the wires behind the TV. They need to stay tight and without any kinks. The same is true if the wire is too taut, with a chance of breaking an internal connection. The construction of a TV screen goes through different processes. The panel and the display are responsible for displaying the images with high quality to the user. Although companies invest in technologies to ensure high resolution, the screens are still very sensitive and can be damaged easily. To avoid damaging the panel it is fundamental not to press it, either when cleaning dirt or even during transport after purchase. Any crack in the display can burn the screen. Repairs are usually expensive or not even recommended, as they are more expensive than buying a new device. Televisions are not made to withstand every type of product. When cleaning the screen, it is important to use a dry or damp microfiber cloth, but one that does not soak or stain the display. In addition, for dirtier panels, it is worth investing in screen cleaners, which are sold in building supply stores or on the internet. If these precautions are not followed to the letter, stains may start to appear all over the screen. In some cases, the display itself stops working and it is necessary to replace the entire panel, which usually costs a lot. It is common for people to place the TV next to other devices on top of the rack. There is no problem with this arrangement if they are in different niches. However, overheating can occur if the TV is accompanied by a router, stereo, and even video games in close proximity. The first measure to avoid this problem is to separate the outlets. Avoid that all electronics are connected to only one outlet multiplier since it can cause short circuits and even accidents. Then leave the electronics separated so as not to overheat them and damage the TV by excessive heat. Speaking of energy, it is important to be careful about the variations that happen in the electricity in your home. Places that have a lot of power outages need a line filter that can withstand any power surges and prevent damage to the electronics. If you live in places with a high incidence of power outages, with constant rainfall, or that are under construction, it is essential to invest in this accessory. In addition to serving as a small extension cord, it prevents your TV from burning up during a power outage. TV companies provide settings such as brightness adjustment for the user to adapt the screen the way they like it best. However, one recommendation from experts is to avoid using maximum brightness, as it can shorten the life of your television and cause eye damage from excessive light exposure. Check what the TV manual says before you change the settings. Also check the position in which the device will be, since the closer the user is, the greater the chances of causing some eye problem thanks to brightness. Just like any other device, the TV also needs to rest. When subjected to continuous hours of use, 
the electronics can overheat and have some parts damaged. Therefore, avoid having the TV on all day every day. Once in a while, it won't be able to damage it, but doing it constantly increases the risk of generating some defect. It is worth mentioning that this means that users cannot use the TV frequently. The device is designed to have a good lifespan, but it is important to be careful how many hours it is on during the week. Here ends our video on 8 habits that could be ruining your TV. We hope you find it very useful. If you have any suggestion kindly share with us in the comments section. Also, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Please click on the notification bell in front of the subscribe button to turn on notification for this channel, so as to notify you when I post new video. Thank you for watching.